Welcome to Counterpoint. Manohar Parikar government has completed one year in its chair and its party has admitted that there is still corruption happening in the state. Party state executive meeting held a day prior to government completing its one year has admitted to this fact. We have Dr. Wilfred Mishkita, spokesman of Goa BJP who has been defending his party on various platforms. We will talk to him about this issue and various other issues. Doctor, first of all, you directly admitted there is a corruption in the state government. It is my habit not to defend the inde indefensible. BJP has always been saying that Goa deserves better. Now, if we are sincere to this slogan, we must accept the weaknesses of our administration. We cannot be blind to it. Because we always say that BJP is a party with difference. Now here is the difference. When we feel that something is wrong, something is not to our expectations, something which we wanted is not happening, then it is our duty of the party to tell the government, look here, come stronger, punish the the, the ill was. You have, you have admitted that, but you have not told who are responsible for this corruption. No, we have made it very clear. We have said the administrative machinery, which basically means the bureaucracy. You see, there are two types of people, those who are elected and those who are the bureaucracy. We are basically talking about bureaucracy because I can tell you with great pride that as far as the elected people are concerned, no, so many jobs have been given, so many people have been helped, but not a pie has been taken from anybody. So many licenses have been given. That is because Mr. Parrikar himself is a clean man. But at the lower level, yes, much more has to be done. So you basically you are blaming government servants? A big junk of them. I wouldn't say all. All need not be bad. But a relatively big junk out of them, yet if they have not come online. Your party manifesto said that we will have zero tolerance towards corruption. Thereafter, Manor Parika said that it was zero tolerance doesn't mean it should be zero corruption. Then now you are admitting again there is a corruption. So there is, there, we can't see any possibility of corruption being eradicated. Because we are zero tolerant to corruption, I repeat, because we are zero tolerant to corruption, Therefore, we are sensitive to corruption and we admitted that there is still corruption. If we were not, if we were tolerant towards corruption, we would say everything is fine in Goa, hanky-panky, everything is beautiful, there is no corruption. But because we are zero tolerant, it is this what made us admit that there is corruption at uh, bureaucracy level. But at the same point of time, admitting doesn't mean correcting. No. Unless you know what is happening, you will not take steps. So first is to admit, first is to accept, then is to act. First accept, then act. Then what action you expect? From no, we expect the government to, to keep a strict eye vigilance uh, and whoever is uh, caught uh, doing all this mischief because the government has its machinery. Uh, we also want, by making this statement, mind you, and I'm grateful to the fourth state for giving such publicity because also this corruption is give and take. Government will be the policeman, but also the people have to be, edu to be, to be, to be educated. You see, this culture, you see, corruption has become culture. So this culture, to, be, to, to get rid of this culture, everybody has to cooperate. The people, the givers, the takers, the press, there should be a revolution against corruption. Because it's my belief that no country in the world can, where there is corruption can come up. Okay, when we talk of this corruption, you are saying ministers are not corrupt? Yes. Ministers are not corrupt? Yeah. Even your alliance partner ministers are not corrupt? I have not, at least I have not heard of complaints of people who have come, no, I have gone there, I have to pay this much for a job or that much for a job. I have not yet come across a person. There are two types of corruption. 
वन इज दैट यू एक्सेप्ट मनी डायरेक्टली और यू एक्चुअली इग्नोर करप्शन योर मिनिस्टर्स आर इग्नोरिंग करप्शन दैट्स वाई करप्शन इज हैपनिंग इन द रिस्पेक्टिव डिपार्टमेंट्स नो यू सी द क्वेश्चन ऑफ इग्नोरिंग डजेंट एराइज बिकॉज यू डोंट एक्सपेक्ट दैट ए मिनिस्टर will be going to each and every office or going and sitting there and watching every peon or every clerk or every officer in uh, doing what he is doing it's not humanly possible i have been a minister and i know unless there is a complaint coming unless somebody has to be trapped unless the immediate boss of that person is anti corruption is against corruption and takes action against the immediate uh, superior or whoever is under him that baba yes what we are doing is wrong it is not possible for a minister and chief minister or whoever he is to to stop those corruption so now are not a coming. government a government corruption when you say the government should stop corruption is this corruption which today we are watching in the country at every level this big corruption with helicopters these that land yes their government has to keep the eyes and ears open but when i am saying corruption there are two types of corruption the corruption which affects the common man you know you go to an office he says you give me something then i'll give you a certificate you give me this i'll move your file this is the corruption which affects the common man here it is very difficult for the government but there is corruption high places there i would directly blame the ministers and whoever it is if at all such corruption takes place here are you getting any complaints of corruption no that's why i said as far as today lots of people are getting jobs without paying a pie that means it's a matter of pride which was not happening all these years no this is this is corruption in giving jobs but i am asking you whether you are getting complaints of corruption as far as their works are concerned people works are concerned they go there and people ask yes them. yes that's why this that's why we passed the resolution yesterday urging the government to come heavy on these people at the uh, 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 at government level but then why we are not seeing suspensions happening in your government no this is exactly what we have been telling the government that's why we had the courage to pass this resolution asking the government to come heavy this is exactly was the message we gave to the government so you are blaming parikar for not i am not blaming you see what happened you see in one year time is too short a time to create miracles we have inherited a totally defective government machinery administrative machinery now <laughs> i am not very sure whether 100% we have, we have we, this government has achieved 100% if in putting this government machinery on track first that was in complete disarray financial mismanagement crores of rupees were pending for the work which has been done with this government had, had has to pay in fact for pw itself they they paid about 1500 uh, lakhs or oh, sorry uh, crores so once this major problems are put in place now you cannot curb corruption unless a government machinery is proper how do you curb even if to, to keep a watch on who is what a superior is doing and what an inferior is doing and what below him is doing how do you keep a watch unless you have a proper machinery this was completely destroyed by the previous government so, so tell 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 a layman through this interview tell us when can we accept corruption free goa in parikar i have a hope that within another year the corruption will be much under control i can tell you corruption has become a culture Narendra Modi has said that India is affected by termite. This is the biggest termite which is affecting our country. And you know what is termite? If it, if you, if you, if you use a medicine to clean one place, it comes in another place. So we will have to keep a constant watch on this corruption throughout our life, not this government. Throughout our life, we have to keep a watch. Every person in the public has to keep a watch on this corruption, bring to the attention of the government, because it is corruption is not something which you just remove and throw it out. corruption is a termite which has become a culture so we will definitely hope we are, we are hopeful that within another year corruption will be much 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 reduced i will not say will be nil because corruption is a culture you cannot have it nil no corruption nil i don't think anywhere in the world anybody can claim 
that even the best of the countries, which is number one, we are, we are, we are something like 84 or 85 in the, in the list of, in the, of the countries in the world. Even there, there is minimum amount of corruption, it is there. Okay, one more issue that your party faces is that BJP is equal to Manohar Parikar in Goa. There are no leaders, only Manohar Parikar is there. Every time they look at Manohar Parikar for party. Manohar Parikar is the BJP leader, no doubt about it. Now the question comes, everybody looks at him for decisions. I really don't know whom you mean. You mean to see his ministers? Now whom do you mean everybody? Everybody including his ministers. He was supposed to give two more portfolios to his ministers within four months. That's not happened. It's one year now the government is in power. Ministers are with the same portfolio. And even on the floor of the house we have seen Manohar Parikar talking in, in, in when actually other ministers should be talking about their portfolios. No, but ultimately, uh, who should object to his is the ministers? If they are happy working with him and under him, and uh, there should be no complaint from anybody, as long as the goods are delivered by the government. It's a, it is a collective responsibility. And uh, probably... Precisely, it is collective responsibility. It should, so that's why should all the ministers... Yeah, so they, the, the powers have been given, and if they feel that they should constantly take his advice, being a very experienced and uh, seasoned and uh, uh, intelligent and capable administrator, so probably they feel. Seeking advice is different and uh, you know asking him to defend them on the floor of the house is different. No, you see it might happen initially for the first two or three sessions because uh, most of them have not faced assembly as ministers. They have been there as MLAs, most of them in opposition most of the time. So it may take another one or two sessions where Mr. Parikar may not have to answer for them. What about the portfolio? They are supposed to get two more portfolios. As I told you, uh, it, took us, it, took, it, it took this government one year to put this administrative machinery and the financial mismanagement to bring it to some kind of order. So now, once probably that is done, and uh, the Chief Minister feels confident that everything is moving in the, in, in the proper in, 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 in the in the proper direction he may give because ultimately it is his prerogative he knows what is he is doing doctor you are one of the most experienced politicians of goa you've seen uh, politics happening in goa you've seen governments you are also part of earlier government now tell us about what were the failures of parikar government in last one year according to you as a politician don't talk as a bjp leader maybe as a politician or as a citizen of goa 